Wait, you have a pen? Black star on. What are you doing? What is happening? You have two, three. You have three, three. Count it. Three du duo dead gods. Three. Three. Three, I'm broken. Bro. No, there's no excuse. Pen boots. All right. Pen boot. I can't. Just give me a minute. Oh. It's a it's a channel point redeem. You just click on the channel point redeem. I'm gonna turn it on. Go figure it out. Five, four, three, two, one. It's on. All right, it's off again. <laughs> and that is why. <laughs> And that right there is why it's only on for like four seconds. Okay. That is exactly why it's only on for four seconds because I would literally be here all night. It would go crazy. All right. I'm going to work through these one at a time. Dear God, I told you this. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, it's FICO. Give me your gear, big dog. Now I'll, I'll do multiple rounds, guys. So if you didn't get in this round, it's no big deal. Um, I could get you in on the next one. I, I, I do this multiple times. I just, I just kind of crash through them a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at this guy. <sighs> okay. Jesus fucking Christ. You are 688 gear score. Clean your room. What are you doing? Sweeping under the bed like I won't see it. Mom won't check under the bed. Clean your room. All right. Working on eight tours. All right, we're at... We're at 308. Okay, all right. Let's see. I assume you are a an awakening tamer. Has finished both Jatinas. Obviously put cups on your accessories. You don't necessarily have to put cups on your earrings if you don't want to but at least get one get the dr one on your belt and you've already got crit on this one so you can do crit on this one too it looks like you're a pve andy anyway that's totally fine uh most tamers are pve lords you need to do this is your next upgrade right here okay exalt your veil's heart is free dp okay um i assume that you're probably working on your a tours already buy a tet debo neck no he's stupid just chill for a sec Okay, buy a Tet Debo neck. I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so there's two ways to go about your Debos. Um, I don't think that you... Like, I think that you should, first of all, I think you should be Try. I think you should probably have Try Dead Gods most of the way when you go for this. I understand you're over 400 DP, but they're easier to get, and it'll make the Debo grind easier because I'm going to be honest with you, the only real way to grind Ash for us, Dekia Ash is kind of spooky. Okay, Crypt can be kind of spooky too. So like having Try Dead God makes that experience a lot better. So like I'd, ideally you'd have at least two of these at Try before you get started. I'll just put two of them at Try, two of them at Duo. This is fine. From this point, you have two routes, actually three routes that you could do. You can either go straight for Pen Debo if you want to. I would recommend getting a Pen Ogre Ring mainly because... I think having the backup ogre is more important. A lot of people like to do this route. Um, this. And it's important to me that you understand that this is kind of stupid. Okay. Because inevitably what's going to happen is you have to tap these for pen. And do you know what's going to happen? Okay. And then this is going to happen. And then this is going to happen. Okay. And then you end up with no AP and you can't get anything done. It's like annoying. Okay. Um, so, like, I don't recommend going for just a Tet Debo Souls in this slot. 92 just if you're going to do it, you're months. just going to go all the way Hulk to Pen. Hulk. Okay. If you're going to do it, you're going to all, all, go all the way to Pen. That's fine. Um, but, yeah, you're basically looking at Debos after you finish your journals. Put this on your Vels. Get your DP done. And then you're kind of looking at Debos versus a Pen Ogre. I'm just going for the pen, uh, the pen Debo. I, I just gave up the, the ogre. I just said, screw it. But you'll notice that I'm wearing a Kaposha, uh, because I'm a moron. Okay. But I have 313 AP. So like you don't have your pen black stars yet. At some point, I, 
fully recommend pen black stars before you hit pen devo they're cheaper and they're they're gonna give you more okay but you're an awakening tamer so they're not gonna matter as much but like it's at a certain point you are gonna have to figure out how you want to go for your debos it'll be around kind of this point in your gear megu look at that guys his room is all clean look how clean this room what do you think i'm gonna tell you to do what do you think i'm gonna tell you to do go sit in rp and heidel Okay, no, you're gonna do this. Okay, I'll see you in three years. Um, dim light 25, let's rock it out. Okay, he's got it. I'm wondering about evasion swap. All right, let me see. What, for Megu? Oh, yeah. Go to evasion. You're crazy. You're you're crazy. You you need to be evasion. I people say that suck Megu, they play it with DR. Yeah, those are people that just don't get hit by anything, and they're just like way better than you at the game. Okay, so like any normal person needs to be evasion Megu because he gives you just a little bit more tankiness uh overall. And the class is meant to be played with evasion. It's really easy for you to swap, so I highly recommend you doing it. Okay, is this dim lights here? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so we have... Okay, all right. Okay, it's... I can fix him. I can fix it. I can... It's, it's fine. It costs a lot to switch? No, not when it's already dead, God. When If you've got... If you've got these, the swapping is really easy. It's a total joke. It doesn't cost very much. But if you're doing it before you get your dead gods, yeah, it's going to cost a lot to swap. Okay. Look, another make. Hey, man. Um, dim light. What's your uh? What's your family name, man? Just for reference. What is it? Go ahead. Yeah, because I'm. I'm kind of wondering why you're wearing a pen black star with pen Kaposha. I'm also low key wondering how you got all the way to a duo dead god without even getting pen gloves. With a Tuvala earring on. What in the f is happening? I hit it with Jace Hammers from the Calpheon Ball. Of course you did. That's why we needed your family name. Still waiting. I watched Dungeoneers tap his from the Calpheon ball. Ls. Um. All right. Obviously, I'm going to tell you to do this, okay? You need to hit pen. You need to finish out your pens. All right. Um. You have most of the important journals done. But you do need to get the AP ones too, okay? So the... You're missing like a little bit. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pretend that you got that because you're missing two AP from journals. Okay. So finish that up. You're not console, are you? Nope. PC, PC Master Race. Okay. How do we fix this, guys? What do we tell him to do? He's already 286. I think he needs AP. I'll be honest. I think he needs AP really bad. Are you awakening? Because you have this. Are you a wit? Would you play succession if you had another pen black, sir? Vels? I know. I'm going to get to that. I'm just wondering. I'm wondering what, what spec he is. I have an order on Vels. Okay. Just chill for a sec, guys. Are you awakening or succession? You're an awakening main. Would you play succession if you had a pen black, sir? Can do suck. Would you rather, if you had two pen black stars, which one would you play? Okay, we play succession. All right, it's important. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is Vel's heart. Okay, so you're going to get Vel's first because having a having your alchemy stone upgraded is is like way more important uh, than the other stuff. Okay, you're going to do Jatina's, um, and there's going to be three accessories to choose from. If you choose the other two, we're going to make fun of you. Do you understand? 
if you even look at the tongue rat earring as like a suggestion, you can already hear us laughing in the background. We almost want you to pick it because it's content. Okay. But like the correct answer is two pen crescent rings. Okay. So you're going to do your two Jatinas. That should be pretty easy. Okay. This is very important. You said you already have your order on it. That's good. Work on your Jatinas. All right, we're at 295. We want to get you to 301 before we turn back around. How are we going to get you there? Let me cook. Let me cook. I got it. You guys ready? I'm going to thread the needle. Okay. There it is. There it is. Pen ogre and then this. Okay. Once you're at 301 like this, that's when we want you to crank your DP again. Okay. That's when we want you to crank your DP. All your coffers should be going into your boots and gloves anyway. Oh my God. All your coffers should be going into your boots and gloves anyway. Or even your, honestly, you can finish your helmet. Never mind. You're already at C6. Finish this out. Screw it, bro. Just get the Lebraska. Boom. Easy peasy. Um, and the reason that you need this at duo is because eventually, actually, you know what? You don't even need to do this. I'm crazy. I'm actually losing my mind. Don't even do this. Yeah. Don't even do this. Do this instead. Okay, you're going to do this. All right, and do you see this? 305. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Just do this, okay? Then you're going to crank DP like it ain't nobody's business, okay? Uh, you are a Megu, so I'm going to set you as an evasion, okay? Um, we really need more DP than that. We still need more DP than that. So we're going to go to C10 here. I know you won't be able to get your boots right away. Whoops. Okay, 391. That's a little bit better. Then you'll exalt your Vels. Perfect. You'll probably do that much sooner because it's really cheap. This is better. At this point, you're grinding Gif and Raza. This is amazing. And then you'll finish out your A-Tour shoes. Okay. I'll see you in six months. Yeah, the the, Vel, the the Garmos heart comes when the Garmos heart comes. I recommend getting Garmos heart, guys, when you hit like 680 gear score. Right when you hit 680 gear score, that's around when I recommend to get Garmos heart. That's usually when people need it. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. I'm going to enable this because you're going to do this, right? You're 100% going to do this. And then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay. Also, you're going to take this and, and, and you're going to put this on here. Okay. You're a striker. Don't even look at the don't even look at the crit damage. Do you understand? The other monkeys will make fun of you. Okay. You're, you're a tanky like frontline bruiser. HP. Technically, if you never plan on PvPing in your entire life for any reason whatsoever, and and you have a chastity belt on, you can do this. It's fine. Okay. But I strongly recommend HP because most people are going to do... Um, most people will eventually do PvP, and the HP is just objectively way better. Um... He's a suck striker, AP addict, tempted to go tent tongue red belt, scared of lower Gyphon. You should be scared of lower Gyphon. The amount of DP you have, you're the white girl sitting on the couch. Is this a joke? Of course you can't go there right now. Um, Let's, uh... So you've put yourself in a bit of a tough position. Because you're one AP off of your, like, gasm AP level. How's he get one AP, guys? I don't want to send him to C15 Kudum or C14 Kudum. That's crazy. Um, The belt? No, you're not making a tongue grad belt. I just want you to take that idea and I want you to throw it out the window. Okay, you just take that idea and just throw it right in the dumpster where it belongs. Okay, that is stupid. Don't do that. You can. Tet Debo, stop. Stop it. All right. I think it's the ogre. And here's why I think it's the ogre. It's the ogre because you're going to hit 309 instead of 305. And then you're absolutely gaming. But you're not going to do it right away. You know why? Because you're scared of it. all of the mobs in the game right now. So you're going to stay at 304 right now because that is your punishment for hitting a pen black star way too early in life. Okay. Um, you need DP like crazy. 
Okay, there you go. You're not even done yet. This needs to be C10 too. Or at least C9. Okay, at this point, you're not... Okay. Obviously this. Okay. It should happen around the time you're getting your gloves done. Um, Once you've got this DP, you can go ahead and get this. And the reason the Ogre is better than the Tongue Grab Belt is because not only is it giving you five sheet AP, it's also pushing you through two brackets. Okay, so you're getting a massive amount of hidden AP. In terms of the money spent per AP and bracket earned, do not buy the Tongue Grab Belt. It's not a good idea. Um, also, you can put this on here. Okay, yeah, you're good to go. The journals are all done. I got pretty lucky with the Awakening God or weapon. Are you an Awakening or a Succession Witch? The journals are all done. Yes, mom. My room is clean. There is no reason to check underneath the bed. It is clean. Just trust me. You don't have to worry about it. What the f did you think I wasn't going to click on it? Bro, d finish your journals. Um, almost. Yeah, almost is right. Uh, I got pretty lucky with the Awakening Goddard, so there's that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So you are an Awakening Witch. And you don't have enough AP. What the f*** is... What are you even using this for? Are you kidding me? Get off your f***ing boat. You're griefing yourself. And that's coming from a sailor. What are you even f***ing doing? Did you just buy the wrong riding crop? Like, I don't understand. Like, you, there it is. Okay. Okay. Um, we need to get you to 301. Where am I going with this? Hold on. Let me see this. Hmm. Yeah, I can't keep it open because every, everybody that was here when it first started. Okay. I'm not feasibly going to tell you. I don't know why people do this. Guys, finish your pen gear up. Why? Am I always looking at a tet piece of armor with a duo dead god? What are we even talking about, guys? Guys, get all of your pens before you get a duo dead god. What is happening? It's five DP for like four billion silver. Finish your pen. Sweet mother of Jesus. Okay. That being said, we need some AP. Uh, I know what you're thinking. I'm an Awakening Witch. I need this Kaposha. I can be tanky. Oh, it's going to be so good. No, it's not. Okay? It's terrible. All right? You need to be the Disto. Shut up. You're the, you're the safest class in the game. You're so safe that people just know you're a bottom just by looking in your direction. Like, the mobs just know. Okay? But, like, you have Red Orb and you have Magical Evasion. You're not going to die. Put the goddamn Disto on. Okay, it's not even it's not even remotely close. Then exalt this to get some of your DP back. All right, you'll be fine. Um, at that point, you should be able to. Oh, that sucks. All right, let me chill for it. Let me cook. Oh, Jatina's. What am I even thinking? Jatina. Okay, bam. Okay, bam. I think that HP is better on Awakening Winch as I do on most classes because you do have to trade in your super armors. Okay, but you can do crit damage if um you don't do any PVP at all. Okay. Um, it's possible, but like, I think that everybody's going to do at least a little bit of PVP. So like, you should have HP on your, on your, uh, on your cups. Uh, but we're at 300 with that. That's amazing. Um, boy, oh boy. How do we get him one AP guys? There you go. There you go. Um, now we're over 301. Then you're going to crank the... Out. Okay, you're gonna finish your gloves since you already have them at C7. You'll finish those first. It looks like you want to be DR evasion. Which can awakening which can play DR or evasion. I do strictly think that it is stronger with evasion on, but you can absolutely go DR, especially if you're just like a PvE Andy. But like that's gonna shift. I really do think that evasion will take over in PvE eventually again because like it shifts. Every once in a while we see DR get really strong in PvE and it's just better than evasion. And then we see it switch back to evasion again. And then evasion is way stronger in PvE. And then it's back to DR again. And like it's just a big pendulum swift. Right now we're on the, the DR side of things. Right, so I don't mind you being in DR, a DR Andy right now. But we're gonna put you at your Labrescas here. This looks good. 
um, somewhere around 390 DP. So somewhere around the time that you're hitting like C10 here, uh, this is when you want to go to 305. Okay, right there. Boom. You see how easy that was? You're just going to put it in the enhancement rack uh, and it's going to go because you were your mother was the Virgin Mary and you are in Jesus. Okay, uh, the man himself. And then you're good to go. Uh, let's see this. You know what I'm about to hit you for, right? You know I'm about to pound your ass. You know it, right? Better. Better. How in the f*** are you 675 gear score and don't have a pen, Kudum? And don't give me that bullshit excuse while well, everybody, everybody else in the class got a D so I can get a D too. No, D is for f***ing dog shit. Please, you're 675 AP. Grow up. Okay? Grow up. You need a pen, Kudum. Stop it. Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. You're also going to put a Garmoth's heart in that Kudum. Okay? Um, which is also extremely important. This is a carry spear. You're in a you're an evasion maywa anyway. Um, also, you're you're a maywa. You're an evasion. What the f are we doing? We we f this up. We 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 f this up, but we can fix it. Okay, you're gonna keep it the way that it is until you hit. Okay, first of all, you're already 305 AP. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you to get DP anyway. All right, but when you get here. It needs to be evasion. I know what you're thinking, but it's a Mewa. And you would be stupid, okay? Because evasion is supposed to be played with evasion. Go ask Akari. Go ask Neptunes. Go ask any of the other Mewas. They're all like cracked with evasion. It's insane. Ask them what, what, ask them what they're running in the tournament. Okay? So it needs to be evasion. So when you get here, um, this is 398. This is looking pretty good. Um, you're pretty close and your journals are done. That's a W. Okay. Now we have to fix your accessories. Um, <sighs> damn. It's tough to tell you. I'll be honest with you. It's tough to tell you to go for a pen ogre when I know you're immediately going to pivot and do your devos. I know it's the necklace. So like, you're going to have to do the ogre, okay? You don't have to do this, okay? You could literally just skip it. Exalt the Veld. Do you not see the exalted thing on? What are you... Eight minutes behind. Um. So you're immediately going to do this after you finish the other thing. So, like, I really do think that, like, the ogre is probably more important. You get the ogre because it puts you in the 310 or 309 bracket. I wouldn't ask Neptunes anything. That's fair. I get that. But, like... Yeah, just get the pen ogre, okay? You don't have to pen your belt. Nobody cares, okay? At that point, once you have a pen ogre, honestly, and this is very situational, I'm going to tell you to do this one first. I know that sounds crazy, but you don't have a pen belt yet anyway, and the pen belt helps you here. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, okay? Then you can come back and do your necklace and the earring if you want. My PvP build uh, is under that. You wouldn't recommend I want to go DP so I can one-shot people in the open world and grind spots and mainly get... Okay, hold on, Lotus. Well, here's the thing. Here's how you one-shot people uh, in PvP. Okay, this is garbage. This is the reason you're not one-shotting people in PvP. Full human damage. Full balls to the wall, human damage, big dick in it. Okay, that's what Akari would tell you to do too, in all in all likelihood. Okay, and you will just one shot people. You could also in in PvP if you're fighting an evasion opponent, you're one of the classes that can do this. Just put that on, and you'll just just blow them away. Just just put one of them on, you'll be fine. Just just run them down. Like, I'm not joking. You just blow them the hell away. Get full human damage crystals, and then every once in a while you have to put on the Brontes to kill people. But you'll two-shot people. Uh, let's see.
You are 708 gear score. Don't have your dorms done yet. It's fine. It's not the dirtiest room, but at least he got there. And honestly, he's a sork. We're lucky he can even read. Um... DR Sork is fine. Most Sorks, most of the endgame Sorks, if they're crazy good. Um, honestly, a lot of the crazy endgame Sorks that I see are evasion. I'm just not going to cap with you. But there are a fair amount of people that swear by DR Sork, and I think that either is fine. I do think that evasion is better on Sork, um, especially Awakening Sork. I think Succession can absolutely run DR and be fine because you're, you're, you're frontal guard focused instead of super armor. But I really do think that Evasion benefits Awakening Sork better. My thoughts. Uh, DR with full accuracy is way better. Well, you need full accuracy either way. Like, so the reason that people go DR is because it gives you 25 extra accuracy, which I understand. Like, you can build it either way. Um, but I see both builds, and I, I see the reason behind both of them. I think that Evasion for Awakening is stronger. I think that DR for Succession is probably stronger, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure, like, if you're just not that great at Sork, then you need to be Evasion. Like, if you are not, if you know yourself and you know you're not a super great player, you need to be evasion. Um, but in this case, you look like you have a solid amount of DP. I'd love to see you with a couple extra DP. So at some point, there you go. Okay. But um, it's looking like, uh, I'll be honest, a lot of Sorks. Let's finish this out. Okay. Let's get that done. It's going to suck. You're going to finish that though. All right. Um,. A lot of sorks. Oh, this might be a little controversial. I want you to... Tr th this is probably a W for you. This is probably a W for you. You don't have enough accuracy as a sork to really get anything done. So until you get at least two accuracy accessories, you're not killing shit. And like in terms of like end game players, you're just not going to kill anything until you have at least two accuracy accessories. A lot of people like to go for the lunar. I think that that's kind of griefing. Um, but like, if you're going to go for Turo, you're probably going to end up going for Lunar 2, and you're just going to go full accuracy anyway. Like, at most endgame sorks that I see, and keep in mind, you're keeping the Tongrad Necklace in every case. You're not selling it, because in PvE, you need it, okay? Because otherwise, you're not going to hit brackets. But in PvP, on God, the sorks that I see absolutely demolish people are the ones that have this build here. With, this is one of the one of the one classes that I would put crit damage on. Which one is the crit? I can't tell. This one? This is the one class that, or one of the, like, four classes in the game that I'm like, okay, yeah, crit damage is pretty good. Um, and then, like, this is just basically going to kill everything. Obviously, you're going to pen these out, too. But, like, you really don't have to do the Debo grind if you don't want to, because your class just does not have accuracy. Um, I do see a lot of Sorks go double pen boss. Um because they're accuracy everywhere else. And these are a good substitute that like kind of middle ground on accuracy and AP. I think it's reasonable. Plus you can see it keeps you over the 309 bracket. It's not a bad build. I right? this is this is the one that I think I like the most. Um, and you're basically just eating. You will kill everybody in the game with this guild or with this build. It's disgusting. Okay, I'll see you in eight years. Is this bugged? I don't... When you logged in... And you took the little hammer thing. Did this just not do this? That's weird. It's very strange. Sweet mother of God. Okay, this is fine. You have most of this done. Uh, this is this is fine. Are you a succession or awakening Draconia? Yo, Kilowatt, are you awakening your sister both in a base situation? Okay. Stop. 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 Okay. So you're going to do this. And while you're doing this, you're going to do this. And this. Okay. So your two Jatinas are here. And I know what you were thinking. You were thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my Jatinas and I'm gonna make them narcs. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. 
you're you're not gonna do that okay until very late game in the super late game when you've basically finished your build you can turn these into narcs for now you're sitting on them as crescent rings every time um we need 301 ap at least with you i don't know if you like awakening or succession more i really don't i have no idea i run crit damage because it's capped pvp okay no that's stupid okay you need to understand that in capped pvp the hp is is more beneficial okay you got it you got take it through i'm just gonna assume that he likes awakening okay so we're just gonna do this okay do you see how stupid that was you hit 305 okay you're done all right then you're gonna finish this out your dr okay i see that you have already grasped that Okay. Once you're here, guess what? You're going to keep getting DP. Okay. But like, I'll see you back in four months when you get that done. Okay. Okay. I have a few questions. Um, number one, who hurt you? Why? Why are your artifacts different? What the f is that? You took the time to put the artifacts in here. Why are they different? Are you on like day two? Did you just take the ones from the Black Spirit and you're like, this is it. We're done. And you put. I can't tell what the. Veteran. You have damage reduction and evasion? Okay, so you misunderstand how lawn works, okay? The first thing I want to do to you is I want to show you something, okay? You misunderstand this. It's, it's all right, I'm going to clear this up. All right, so... Oh, I'll just pick one, I guess. Um, let's, let's do this one. Okay, do you see this class? Does this class, whose ass is literally hanging out the back of the outfit, does this class look tanky to you? Does this look like a class that says, you know what? I can absorb a punch. All right? No, she's soft. She's squishy. Okay? This ain't it. Ain't about it. So you misunderstood, and that's fine. You can get confused. Okay? A lot of Asian kind of tanky. Shut your beautiful, beautiful mouth, you stupid, stupid man. Okay? We are not telling a lawn to go for a melee evasion artifact set. That's stupid. Okay? Get rid of this. Okay? Even in PvE, this is garbage. Okay. Also, if you're gonna do this, get double melee evasion. But like, don't, don't, because you don't want that. You just get a second HP one if you really want to be tanky and cap PvP. But in uncapped, I really feel like, isn't it like, um, Lon can do with a number of sets, but like, all out attack in uncapped is probably just, just mowing through people. But like, honestly, no, because you need to be able to trade. So like, what is Lon running uncapped? Not this, okay? Stop running some DP version set, okay? Just get build the AP, build the class the way it's supposed to be built. This is bad, okay? What what is Ham and, and Israelia run? I don't, I don't know what the you know what I'll ask him. I don't want to give misinformation. Israelia, full HP can't go wrong with it, okay? For capped. Now let's look at your gear. Let's pretend that this didn't never happened, okay? I'm just gonna pretend that these don't these aren't here. And we're going to take that away. We're also going to pretend like you didn't actually intentionally hit that. And that happened by accident. Okay. Um, kind of like when your parents had you. You know what I mean? But like it was a happy accident. It's like wonderful. I mean, that's what they told me too. It's okay. Um, you don't need to finish this necessarily yet. You're 394. You need 305 though. Hey, accidents can be beautiful. Okay. Israelia says he runs... Human damage or target openings in PvP. Okay? 
So probably target openings. Cast, I run target openings, or if you're feeling a little rich uh, for your blood, you can run Crocodile Tooth. There you go. At least they talk to you. That's fair. Yeah, Dominate or Target. So target openings, probably a W. Grab that, uh, that, that set. You need 305. And the reason that I hate Tongue Rats, guys, this is the reason that I hate Tongue Rats. Is because, see, now it helped him early on. Now he's... Are you success? You look like you're awakening. Oh, I'm going to solve the problem. Look at that. That was crazy. Look how much AP you got. That's crazy. I fixed it. Guys, I fixed him. It looks like you're a PVE, Andy. In which case, I'm not entirely certain why you have... If you're playing Awakening, but you know, that's fine too. Also, yeah, you can do one more set here. Like this, like whatever, sure. You get an AP right here. But at C8, you get four ac extra accuracy. So if you're going to put... You put two coffers levels in. Don't stop at C7. Grab the C8 too. Does any class run evasion in PVE? Yes, all of, like... All of the evasion classes run evasion and PVE, yes. Like, stupid people will tell you to build DR on evasion classes like Striker and Mystic because they are so belligerently stupid um, and like meta conforming that they will actually tell you to build the wrong build on something because they think it is marginally better in PVE on this current patch. That's wild to me. But like, overall, we don't give gear advice on this channel so that like you can build the wrong gear path for example lawn should be built with evasion okay unless you're one of the best lawns in the world in which case you could build dr that's fine but in this case i like the fact that he won evasion okay you need a pen black star the c9 dandy it's it we're over it it was like so 2018 okay no more of that can awakening musa run dr yes stupidly yes it can but like it's definitely an evasion class um It's a pen, Black Star. Then your C10. Then I want you to hit 30. Then you're probably finishing your muskins. Ooh, 400. Ooh, ooh, that kind of sucks. Yeah. So then you could just go to C15 on this if you want to, but you'd only have to go to like C10 or something to get the the extra DP. Okay, but the pen, Black Star, you're, you're just gonna need that. So I'm just gonna save you the trouble. The C20 Dandy seems like a better option. We have Dead God weapons coming out before the end of the year and they're probably going to require the black star in almost every case they're going to probably require the black star so you're going to have to make the change anyway luckily divios told it was a stupid idea as well to do a backup well divios has the luxury of like doing literally every build in the game because he's got he's got the gear for it but like divios isn't going to tell a striker to build dr okay like he might say something like, well, if you never plan on doing PvP, maybe you could build DR. But even then, you should still build evasion. Because, guys, the the PvE in the game is a pendulum. Okay? So, like, you have two separate sides of the spectrum. You have DR, you have DR, and you have evasion. Okay? And, like, sometimes, depending on what patch it is, the the pendulum swings really hard towards one side or the other side about which is better in PvE. Right now, DR is currently the better one in PvE. But a year from now, it could very well be evasion again. Because it's been evasion, I believe, more times than it's been DR in the past. So telling someone to build DR because it's PvE is almost stupid knowing that in a year, that could be bad advice. And then they've just built DR on an evasion striker, right? You need to build what your class should build, okay? So if your class is an evasion class, you should build evasion on the class, even if you're only a PvE Andy. If your class is a DR class, build a DR, okay? That is just how it works. There are certain classes in the game that can be built as either, and that's totally fine. If you don't know which one to build, and you're playing one of those either classes, I would default to DR, because there are more classes in the game that build DR than evasion. So if you end up re-rolling, you have a higher chance that you have the correct gear set, gear set on the new class. Does that make sense? Oh my God. 
such a clean room. I would expect that from Owusa, though. They're such clean people. They're not apes like Megus are. Those are my people. All right, you know what I'm going to tell you to do. All right. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get two of these to try. I don't care which two it is. Just put two of them at try. At least. You can put all four of them at try. That's fine, too. And then you're going to get one of these bad boys, okay? First, it's a very important. First, you're going to get this one. Then you're going to get this one. Then it's going to go here. And it's going to come back up here, then back down to here, then all the way up to here, then it's going to come back down here again, and then eventually you're just going to hit it to here, okay? But, like, the belt is going to do something similar to you. Just just grit and get through it. Put your helmet on, you'll get through it. And then this, same thing. All right, I'll see you in three months. Okay. Uh, wow, it's looking really good, man. Okay. Um... Except for the fact, I don't know how this happened. Uh, this is a disaster. I mean, this is a total Is that This needs to be at least duo or your friends make fun of you. A factor meal? This sounds intriguing. Do you know what where I can get more info or where I can get a discount? I'm not even sponsored by factor right now. I know you're memeing, but I'm not sponsored. I took a sponsor sponsorship from factor and then kept my subscription rolling so that I could eat as a streamer. Um, while I went, right? Because it's like a, it's gonna be like a nine hour stream at least, probably. Uh, like I get to eat. Um, okay, so you need to get a duo crescent pendulum. That should be pretty easy, I'm sure. You're working on it. You, you'll you get there. Are you, uh, are you awakening? It looks like you're awakening. And I think... Yes. Okay. So I don't know how you got this far. I don't know how you got to the crit damage um, on your cups uh, with duo dead gods um, and like a Tet uh, Godder without putting the 150 million cup on your necklace. But please do that. It's, it's, it's scary to look at when it doesn't have the little shimmer on there. It makes me think that your intelligence is below average. Okay. Like, like, like below room I like room temperature IQ um I'm just gonna assume that you forgot to put that there um you need 305 AP really badly I strictly think that the ogre is probably your best route to it in terms of bang for your buck this is 307 sure and then you can finish this this will push you to 309 well it's 310 but like 309 is the bracket so like ogre this okay and then as far as DP goes, um, hmm. P probably just going to have to get your A-Tours. Uh, your, your DR, which is fine, I guess, but like, that's fine. Uh, but eventually you're going to need 401 at least before you go for your, your Debos. Okay. Working on infinite pot still. The Tongue Rat is my second Jatina. a lot going on here it's a good amount okay first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna buy the you're gonna buy this okay you're gonna put the little cup i just told i just railed him for doing the same thing put the cup on your necklace Can you sell either of these crescents? So here's what you're gonna do. All right, I can fix her, him. Um, the distos, okay. And as you're getting the second disto, I want you to change the tongue rad over to the crescent, okay. And when you do that, you're gonna sell your other crescent, okay. You can get a bunch of money. It's important to me that you finish this too. I understand that the dipshits on YouTube told you. Oh, the reform form is basically 
the same as a pen so you can just like keep it here you're totally fine but your 680 gear score at some point you have to grow up okay at this point you're getting a pen kudum and i want to see it be fiery okay so you need a garmos heart um do you see how suddenly you're 305 ap because of the distos that's crazy that's that's crazy What are you doing with Ted Ergon's on? Look, let's back up for a minute. I didn't even see that. I don't even think. Wait, you have a pen black star on. What are you doing? What is happening? You have two, three. You have three, three. Count it. Three du duo dead gods. Three. 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 I'm broken. Bro. No, there's no excuse. Pen boots. All right. Pen boot. I can't. Just give me a minute. Oh. The first sure thing you're going to do immediately is you're going to fix the problem in your boots. Fix the boots. Fix the goddamn boots. Then do the rest of what I told you to do. And then this looks great. And then you put some cups on your shit, okay? Looks good. Honestly, for three years ago, that gear that gear wasn't actually all that bad. Um, Cyan Phoenix. Exalt the Vels. We'll get there when he comes back. All right, step one, finish journals. He already knows. He already knows. Step two, Jatina Tungrad, swap it out to Crescent. <laughs> Please don't rail me. Oh, sweetie pumpkin. I'm not going to rail you because you have a Tet Tungrad on. For Jatinas. I'm gonna rail you because you have a try tongue rat on that isn't a Jatina. Okay? So we're gonna talk about this and I'm gonna fix you. Alright. There's always something. Boy, oh boy. It's always gotta be something. My favorite booba streamer. You're welcome. He said he was going to fix it, so I'm not going to hit him with that, okay? Instead, I'm going to ramrod you, okay? So just clasping at the ankles, feet, shoulder with a bark. Why in the f do you have two different access, uh, like, artifacts in here? What are you doing? Did you open the Black Spirit and just accept the artifacts, and then that was it? And then you just didn't bother getting new artifacts at all? Is that... Extra AP against monsters. There's the damage reduction. Yeah, it's literally that. <laughs> That's wild to me. Bro, get another monster damage artifact. That's crazy. That's insane. Get another monster damage artifact. You're killing me. Um, It's Vels. Okay, you need Vels first. Okay. You're going to roll your Chichina back over here so people stop making fun of you at school. Okay. Both of them. I don't even know how you have a tri tongue grab, but you're going to sell both of these immediately, Jettison. Immediately. And I know what you're thinking. I'll make it a tri disto. <laughs> no, you won't. Okay? It's going to be Tet, or you're not going to put it on. I don't fucking care. I don't care if it's dual. I don't fucking care if it's tri. I don't fucking care if it's pry. It's Tet, or you don't put it on. Okay? It's the same thing with the other one. All right? Put them both on. Look at that. Boom. We fixed you. Look at that. That's crazy. You need a little bit more DP. So, like, you need to finish out your Fallen God. Honestly, I recommend that the... It doesn't matter which one you do first. But I recommend the gloves are cheaper. Most people do the chest piece, but believe it or not, the gloves are cheaper. What? Why? Why is this not pen? Why? Every time I look over at the boots. Every time it's the boots. Finish your goddamn pen boots. Damn it. At least he didn't have dead gods on this time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We're fixed. We're putting out fires. Okay. At this point, you need 301. But I highly recommend. Here's Tori just resubscribed just for four months. Hey girl. See this? Hey. One pen black star puts you through like three brackets or two brackets of shit. 
It's actually three because 297 is a bracket too. So like, there's your path to 305 right there. And then I just want you to crank DP until you hit like 401. At least 390. I have double Disto and double Narc. Not sure which one to, on my way to Tet Debo's. Okay. It concerns me because you said Tet Debo instead of Pen, but I'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. So when you say Tet Debo, you meant Pen, right? We ain't stopping at no Tet Debo. That's, that's stupid. So you're a sage, big dog? If you put on a narc earring, it actually hurts your ability to be like aerodynamic. Sage is best with bald and no accessories on his ears. Okay. But believe it or not, distos actually conform to the shape of your head perfectly. So that you get some Michael Phelps, like absolute genetics going on. All right. And they actually help you move through space time way better uh then the vahas do it's all right yeah it's actually other than the narc does that's crazy thoughts and prayers man We'll see you in eight hours. Praying for you. Okay. Um. That's done. Okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. AP, man. You need Debo's really bad. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I don't even know. You could probably just keep this narc. That's fine. And I think... It, hopefully what you meant by Tet Debo was this. I think the first Debo you get is a Tet Debo earring, and then you can go for pen neck, pen belt, and then pen your earring. Make sense? I think it's a W. But like, I would probably try one more boot, or like one more one more Dead God before you do it, but like you don't have to if you don't want to, you're a Sage. Three times Tet Debo for the set, but nope, 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 nope. Not in this case. Awakening DK! Oh, finally, my B-Bolt! Mmm, chat. We love Dark Knights. Mm-mm. Yummy. Putting coffers into my boots, trying to buy a Tet Disto. Keep getting lucky and spending all my silver on outfits, and then I've hit 59 fails on a Black Star. Oof. Been there, big dog. Mm. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to start looking at your gear. Um, it does look... All right, yeah, you're... Awakening Dark Knight, you know I'm going to tell you to do it. Number one, this needs to be duo. You're not allowed to leave it at Pry. That's You have to go to confession for that. You have to, like, see a priest or some shit. You don't want to do that. So put it, put it to duo. Uh... This, just easy, one and done, honestly. Um, like, and by one and done, I mean one and 57 and done. Um, easy peasy, pumpkin for breezy. At that point, you're still not done building AP. Okay, like, this, this is pathetic. This needs to get done. Okay. Um, I think that the Ogre is better than the, the Kudum, because let's be honest, you're probably wearing Nuver in PvP anyway. Right? Um, uh, Ogre. I fixed it. You're good. And you're just going to keep building AP until, like, at that point, yeah, you could go finish your A-Tour shoes, sure. But, like, DP is not... It's important on DK, but, like, it's also not as important. Like, you're really good at it. You don't really need as much DP, but, like, you really do need, like, closer to 400 if you're going to grind the A-Tour spot, but you should be fine if you're really good at it. You should be good. Buddy. You made a mistake. I'm going to fix it for you, Okay. Look at that. Look how fast I fixed that for you. That was crazy. 
Do you see how your AP is 305 now? I'm a miracle worker. Sometimes, sometimes they compare me to Jesus. Um, at this point, you're right at the point where I want you to get a, a Garmos. You should probably get your Garmos now. Looks like you're an Awakening Ranger. True, chat. True. Why is it always the boots? At least these are pen. You know what I mean? Also, let's back up for a minute. Why the f do you have muskins on? What are we doing? Why is it that y'all go through your entire gear wheel, but every time you get to this slot right here, it's like your brain turns off and you start drooling onto the keyboard. What are we doing? No, 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 no. Fix it. Okay, fix it. Now, you could technically... Bam. Bam. That's probably what I would recommend that you do. I got muskets from Fugar. Okay, well, just see Tenet. It's going to feel like shit. You are literally going to be the squishiest ranger on the planet. And I know that. I say that knowing it's probably one of the squishiest classes in the entire game anyway. Once you get it to C10, you can choose which one you turn it into. The blue one. Perfect. Okay. Um. Okay. I've done enough work here. Get it done. Okay. This is an important step, okay? This is garbage. You do not want that. Okay? It needs to be Vel's heart. Remember, that number is higher on Vel's heart. This is complete garbage. You should just sell this, okay? And when you go to sell it, you should tell me, okay? Because I collect garbage gear for a living. All right. And I, I, I'll just put it in my inventory. I'll just, I'll just carry it as like a relic. Okay. So like, tell me when you're going to sell it because that's garbage. You don't need that. It's like 40 bill. You just, you just pocket that. Okay. The rest of this is literally perfect. Um, and my recommendation is underground Gyphon. Thoughts and prayers. Joe, I just, can I just say for, for starters that if you, if you just shaved off. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Just, just like this. Okay. Like that. God, look how much more attractive you are. Doesn't he look more attractive, chat? Jesus Christ. That's crazy. That's insane. I literally just upgraded your IRL. You're welcome. I'm gearing out his helmet, guys. Um. Josh, how are you getting a 729 gear score and you're not streaming any BDO at all? What are you doing? How, how, how are you about to play like thousands of hours of BDO, but you haven't streamed at one time? Okay. All right. So this right here is important. Okay. And then. All right. And then this. It's going to look like this for a while. And then they're going to be traded around. Like street hookers. Okay. You're going to be. You're going to be trading this gear around like crazy. Okay? Things are going to go up. Things are going to go down. It's going to get insane. Okay? But eventually, you'll get here. And in three years, when you reach this, come back to me. I'll tell you what to do next. Good luck, man.